the back. So um, there's kind of a cool trick that you can use for this. Um, all that you're going to do is you're just going to take your ruler and you're going to make a square or a rectangle. So like if your room's more of a square to a square, your room's more of a rectangle to a rectangle. Um, and you don't want it to be touching the edges. So for example, like if you just take your ruler and like trace it along the side, that's not going to be like a lot of space for our square, so I would slide it in a little further. But you wanna get this as straight as possible. So you can line up your ruler with the edge of your paper to make sure that it's straight. Okay, however you wanna do that. And for me, it's easiest just to draw some like horizontal lines first. and then I can go in and do my other ones. Um, I recommend you use an H pencil. I am not gonna use an H pencil because apparently that doesn't show up very well on my screen. And I want you to be able to see. So I'm gonna switch and do a big color pencil. After we finish this. Okay, now I'm gonna do the sides. And I'm going to make mine more of a squarish shape. And it doesn't have to be right in the middle either. Grab my little rectangle. Okay, now I want to make my horizon line. Remember, horizon line is eye level. So I'm going to go kind of ish in the middle of my paper. And you want to draw really lightly because you're going to erase a lot of this. Okay, but I made like a horizontal line all the way across. This is my horizon line. And then you're going to put a dot pretty close to the middle, and that becomes your vanishing point. Okay, now you're gonna connect that vanishing point to all the corners, but instead of drawing a line inside of my box, I'm gonna draw a line outside of my box. So let me show you. So this one goes up towards that corner. I'm gonna connect my vanishing point to this. This goes to that corner. And a lot of them, like the ones on this side especially, will end up being close to the corner of the paper, but not exactly. So don't like, don't try and connect them just to the corner of the paper. They're probably gonna be the wrong angle if you do that. Okay, I'm gonna do that for all four walls. Okay, now we're gonna make this kind of a generic um, setup, so it might not be exactly like what your space is like, but you can customize it. So we'll do a couple basic pieces of furniture um, and then I'll take requests. If you have something specific that you would like to do, then we can totally do that. But um, just to kind of get everybody started, I'll show you how to do a few basic things so that you don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay. All right. So just like when we did that section in your packet, let's go ahead and draw the edge of the bed that's closest to us. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a straight up and down line, and this is kind of a fun thing. I don't wanna have like an entire 
ruler's width, but I want to make sure that my line is straight. So I actually sometimes will take my ruler and like all of these numbers are lined up kind of on a line. So if I push this over and just make sure all of the numbers are even with the side of the page, then I know it's still going to be straight. So you can make skinnier lines that way. So there you go, funky trick. Okay, I'm going to start drawing the edge of my headboard here on the side. I'm going to do a horizontal line and then I'll do another vertical. So this becomes like the edge. And I want mine to look like it's kind of going off the page. So let me scooch this up and you can see it. Okay, so see how it goes like off the edge of the page down here. Okay. And then... I'm going to draw my mattress and I want it to be like a little bit higher than that back wall of the room. And I think it's going to end up being pretty long. So I'll have it come over here. And then I'm going to have the end of it be just kind of blanket shaped to do some sort of curve. Okay, if you covered up any parts of your paper where we drew like the edges of the room, you can go ahead and erase those because now they're covered by the bed. Okay, and now we're gonna do exactly what we did yesterday. So I'm gonna take and draw from the corners towards the vanishing point. Now, because I know I'm gonna cut this off, I'm only gonna draw like a short line. I'm not gonna try and draw the whole thing because I know I'm gonna cut it off in a second and I don't wanna have to erase all of that. Okay, now anytime it changes angle, I have to draw a line back. So I've got this corner right here where it changes from the headboard to the mattress. I'm gonna draw a line there. And I'll start doing this in black so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, and then I want my bed to be about this wide. So I'm gonna cut it off. There's the edge of my bedroom. Okay, now from the end of the bed, back to the vanishing point. Remember, because it's a curve, I'm just going to take my ruler and line it up with the vanishing point, and then I'm going to slide it sideways till it hits the bed, and that becomes the edge. Okay, I'm going to draw it back, and then I'm just making this. Hey, Gabe. Good morning. Okay, and then same thing, I'm gonna go back in, erase anything I don't need. Now, this is a sad, boring bed at this point. So now we get to do some fun stuff. Um, I wanna make some pillows. Um, do whatever kind of pillows that you want to. I have huge decorative pillows, because I'm one of those people. Um, and I enjoy having giant decorative pillows at my house. So I'm gonna start by drawing the edge of my huge decorative one. Now, the edge can look like anything you want to. So I'm actually gonna make like kind of a funky shape. And then I'm just gonna connect that back to the vanishing point. And then whatever my initial line was right here, I've gotta match it further back. Okay, um, and then maybe I've got another pillow, so I draw that edge. That connects back. So anytime you're gonna draw like a new pillow where you're adding 
something onto it, you literally just draw it like the edge that's closest to you and then you connect it. Hey Cam. Okay, and then I have a big old pillow in the front that's kind of curvy. So I'll have like that round edge and then it's gonna go back. And like I said, you don't have to draw exactly the same kind of stuff that I do. In fact, I would like you to kind of make it your own, but you're welcome to use whatever I'm using. If that makes your life a little bit easier, I'm okay with that. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of fill this in so I can tell it apart from the stuff around it. Got this cute little tube pillow. Okay, and then I actually have a lot of different kinds of blankets. So like, I have like my big fluffy quilt. So I would draw like the edge of that up the side and then I'd connect that back to the vanishing point. So you can kind of start to see like, once you understand how perspective works, your vanishing points are a lot easier to use and you can really just kind of draw anything you want to. Also, my mattress is not that tall. I'm gonna draw the edge of my mattress like that. You could put like a little stuffed animal on here. You could do cute little lights hanging from the top of your headboard. You do whatever you want to. Um, I like having a soft squishy blanket at the end of my bed. So I'm gonna make kind of a fuzzy shape and because it's fluffy, I'm gonna make it so it stands out from the top of the bed too. And then I'll connect that back towards the vanishing point. And then I'm just gonna make another soft fluffy edge on that side. Okay, so I'm gonna give you just a minute. I want you to add a couple of things onto your bed. So you could like put some stickers over here on the side. You could do lights hanging up here. You can make different kinds of pillows. But I want you to kind of personalize it. While you're doing that, we're gonna catch up everybody that came in late super fast so that they know what's happening. 